Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional, 2 Peter uh, chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. The Word of God says, This is especially true of those who follow the corrupt desire of the flesh and despise authority. Bold and arrogant, they are not afraid to heap abuse on celestial beings. Yet even angels, although they are stronger, more powerful, do not heap abuse on such beings when bringing judgment on them from the Lord. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now help us to, in ourselves, confirm the truth according to your word and your word alone. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, we continue the idea of these false teachers and the destruction they bring. And we come today to the idea, the truth, the great truth that there are false teachers who follow their own desires. They teach their own way. Uh, you know, you can find some uh, on YouTube, uh, probably still find terrible examples of pastors who say the most horrendous things, uh, false things about the Word of God, who who curse and who who say evil things about other people, who say bad things about Jesus, who who in every way they are uh, corrupt. And this is especially true of those who follow the corrupt desire of the flesh and despise authority. And beloved, the authority which we need to cling to is the Word of God. Uh, there is a phenomenon happening uh, nowadays in this uh, intense political climate we're in where people that believe on one side of a political issue will try to use the Word of God to bolster uh, their view, while the people on the other side use the Word of God to bolster their view. Beloved, and, and so they will say, God hates the other side, and here's why. Or God will never bless the other side, and here's why. Or God does not have mercy on them, and here's why. They hate the authority of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, see, they are false teachers who are teaching that somehow you are approved in, in the case of these uh, political issues based on your politics and not on the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The truth is, is that we are only justified through Jesus Christ. And God doesn't hate anyone. God hates sin but he loves everyone. The, Jesus Christ came to bring salvation to everyone who believes. And so it's not that God came and will only bring salvation to Republicans or Democrats or Green Party people or whatever the case may be. Jesus came to bring salvation to everyone. The Bible continues, bold and arrogant. They are not afraid to heap abuse on celestial beings. Yet even angels, though they are stronger, more power, powerful, do not heap abuse on such beings when bringing judgment on them from the Lord. You see, there are those that will deny the existence of angels, deny the existence of demons, deny the existence of, of Satan himself. They will deny, deny, deny. They will heap abuse on them. And the truth is that God knows them and their works. We don't need to heap abuse on them. We need to, in every way, abide by the Word of God and the, the authority of the Word of God. What do I mean by that? I mean that today, as we go about our lives, we need to bend our heart, our conversation, our life to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That instead of seeking those teachers that which teach things that are wrong, we need to let the Holy Spirit guide us into truth. Beloved, if you are sitting in church and, and I am preaching and I say something which disagrees with the Word of God, I am wrong. In every way, I am completely wrong. If I say something which disagrees with the plain and simple and clear reading of the Word of God, I'm wrong and you need to ignore me. Come and tell me, you're wrong, Pastor. This Bible says this right here. Look, it's in black and white. Show me. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, beloved. I don't want to be a false teacher. I don't want to rely on my authority. 
in my own mind, in my own concept. I want each and every one of us to rely on the authority of God in our hearts through the word of God and through the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in that way, let us be like the angels who do not bring the condemnation and heap abuse. Instead, they rest in the sure knowledge that they are doing God's will. Because God has revealed it to them with his spoken voice, and he has revealed it to us with his written word spoken through holy men who recorded it for us. May God bless you as you go about your day.